Hello, good people of YouTube. All About Nat is back with another video. Um, and today, it's going to be a little bit of a serious conversation, in all honesty. Um, but, um, first of all, I will say, actually, thank you so much um, for every single lovely message that came from the video that I did with my mum. We had such a laugh doing that video, honestly. I've not, I think that in all the videos that I've done, and it's been a fair few since I started the channel last year, that has got to be the funniest and the most fun video to do, honestly. As it's had such a good reception from you guys, we will be doing a part two for that video. So my mum will be making an appearance again very soon. So yeah, even my mum, who's not really, she's not particularly that confident um, and she's not really into that sort of thing, even she said she had quite a good laugh doing it. So yeah, we will be doing that again. So thank you to all you guys for showing my mum love, showing that video love. It was really appreciated. Um, but unfortunately, on to the serious matter at hand. Now, um, I've touched on this before, okay? So I have touched on this before. Um, I've mentioned, I've taken that off because I can't really hear very well. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I've mentioned before on, on this channel and I've mentioned in recent uh, videos, you know, some of the hate you can get with YouTube. Okay, I've also addressed bullying because I got uh, a message from a young girl asking me her, her advice, right? So I've, I've touched on that. Um, and I did actually pin a comment that was made on my channel about three or four videos ago. Um, and I pinned it. Normally I can sift out hate, I can sift out the hate comments. Because generally, I don't want to even give them a time of day, to be honest with you. That one was particularly disgusting. So I wanted to show my lovely real crew out there some of the lunatics and disgusting... I'm not even going to call them human beings because they're like the shit on the bottom of your shoe. Um, so I showed you guys that comment, I pinned it, I've now deleted it because I think he's had enough uh, hate from you lot, which is brilliant by the way, so thank you to the real crew, you know, we don't tolerate that shit around here. So any kind of comments like that will either be pinned by me and let the masses have their say, or you will just be out the door and there'll be nothing said about it. The only reason why I pinned that was just because it was so vile. I wanted to actually out the person who did it, you know, and basically say, show what an absolute lunatic, disgusting piece of vermin you were. So, you know, I have blocked you, I think, uh, but either or, it doesn't matter. He's gone. He's gone back to his sad little life under his little rock and, you know, Hey ho, but I can usually handle it because that's what comes with YouTube. Unfortunately, social media in general it brings out the cretins, it brings out the vermin, and it brings out all the little keyboard warriors. Um, unfortunately, and generally, as I've said, I can handle it. But when it comes to when my family, you know, um, experience shit from social media that's where it changes now this isn't something this isn't something disgusting because of my channel this is nothing to do with my channel but i have to address it because it's a it's, this is kind of a message to my younger viewers the get the you know the people who have you know i don't know 11 12 upwards you know until you get to adult age 18 plus just to address this um era because it you know when i was that age social media didn't exist mobile phones didn't exist 
none of this stuff existed and we all lived a happy life um but now it's all social media everything's put on social media how many likes you get how many followers you've got lada yada yada you know um and it's very very important it's very important to a lot of people now i'm not saying it's not important in some cases so for example this channel okay this channel is growing nicely um and obviously subscriptions subscribers my subscribers and the views on the channel will obviously go towards eventually getting paid for youtube to do youtube now this is you know this started off as you know as something that was helping me through my mental health um it was good to get the message out there about real life etc keeping it real um and all that kind of thing now wh whilst i'm working two jobs and doing youtube it's hard work and i'm not complaining not at all because i actually really enjoy doing youtube but in order to help me with it in terms of what you guys want to see you want to you want to see live purchase videos a lot they are super popular live purchase videos supreme super popular but in order for me to be able to do that regularly i need to i need some more income <laughs> clearly because i haven't got endless amounts of money yes i'm, I'm earning money of course because you see me buy stuff but also um if I'm going to do this on a regular basis, can keep in doing it, YouTube, obviously it would be very nice and helpful to earn money via YouTube. So therefore, hence, subscribers and views go towards me being able to get monetization and then earn money. Because at this very minute in time, this minute in time, I'm not earning anything, but I'm not far off being able to apply for monetization so i'm totally being transparent with you there you know so you know subscribe if you're not already i'm not saying it's not important but but there's a massive but when you are a young kid who's at school in the grand scheme of things it's really not that important it's really not honestly um you have no commitments you don't have any bills you know it's all just for fun and i'd like to think it would be a nice little social platform to get to know other people to be nice to each other to be kind to each other you know um and make friends and have fun but this is the real world and unfortunately there are big fat turds out there who like to make other people's lives are misery and they also like to make people feel like shit so bringing me on to my niece this isn't actually the niece that was going to be doing the video with me that was she's 11 and she is one of twins uh so she was going to be doing the video with me but the eldest niece who is 13 she's she you know she has instagram and she um I would like to think that she didn't have it, but unfortunately, as you know, my sister has said that nowadays, they, you know, she's tried to stop it up to a certain point, but there is a time when you can't really. Um, and she's she's quite sensitive, but she's actually in some ways quite confident at the same time. So she's a popular girl. She's got a lot of friends at school, but she was doing a little live video with her friends the other day and then some little turd little arrogant prick comes on there um starts calling her ugly which by the way she really isn't she's a beautiful young girl just being really generally not very nice oh you've only got a couple of people in your live stream mmm you're really ugly right now, since when does it matter, number one, how many are in your live stream? I live stream and I only have a couple of people in every now and again. I've had 20 in a couple of times. I've had 
10 in a couple of times, I've had two or three in a couple of times, really doesn't matter. In fact, it's easier for me when I have less people because I can actually read the messages. I don't like to miss the messages. Every now and again you do, but I've been in live streams when there's like 50, 60, 70 odd, when, you know, when you're talking about someone who's got thousands and thousands of um, followers on Instagram, and you very often miss, they do miss a lot of the messages. She's just having a live stream with some friends. You know? What the hell does it matter? Just for me, it's numbers. Numbers matter more than quality. For me, quality, yes, numbers, as I've just said, numbers matter in certain things, like actually trying to make a living, trying to have um, an assisted income to help the channel. You know, I could obviously get a better camera, the quality of the videos would be better, blah, blah, blah. Everything would be better if I had more money, clearly. You only see, you see that with YouTubers that I've followed for a long time and then they generate an income from it things get better that's that's just life in general but when you're a kid what the fucking hell does it matter how many people have liked your picture how many people are on your fucking live stream how many people are following you you're a kid be a fucking kid but at the same time grow up <laughs> It's so sad. It, it it really makes me sad to think that this is what matters to kids. Again, you know, again, I'm going to go on, you know, I'm going to say, I'm going to say it. When I was 13, I couldn't have given a shit about things like that. I had my friends. We used to go out. We used to climb trees. <laughs> Genuinely, we did, actually. We used to do daft things. We used to go out and play football. We used to go out and just... Generally, just be kids. Yeah, and I know it's changed because, obviously, you've got social media now. But it would be nice if there was a nice balance to use social media to a positive rather than judging people. It's always judging. You're always being judged. You've got to flex. You've got to show this off. You've got to show that off. You've got to show what you've got for Christmas. You've got to show what you got for your fucking birthday. You've got to show, you know, I've got this many followers. I've got that many followers. Blah, blah, blah. Oh my God. Don't get me wrong. All right, you know. I know what you guys want to see on here and, and a lot of my older audience want to listen to what I've got to say a bit more as well as, you know, see the pickups and all this, see, we'll talk about brands, etc. But also, they like the keeping it real side of things. I know that the younger viewers, all it likes to be about, you know, the live purchase videos and this and that and the other. And yeah, it's fun. It is fun to a degree. But there is a real aspect to that, and that's actually having to fucking pay for these things. And I have touched on that before about credit cards and, and how not to get into problems. Um, and buying and selling so that you can buy to sell to buy and blah de blah But it, it, there just seems to be so much, um, so many superficial kids out there today and probably generated by social media. Uh, social media has had a big, pro has a have. Social media has got a lot to answer for when it comes to superficial people and superficial stuff today, you know. Um, I don't know, it, it just baffles me. And my niece was upset about that going back to my niece, it, she was upset, but she wasn't like crying herself to sleep, but she was just like, why were they being so, why were they being nasty? What, what, what does it matter? I said, exactly, what does it matter? Number one, you know you're not ugly. I mean, that's a lot of bullshit. Um, in fact, I think I've got a picture. It's a very old picture. So these are my nieces. They, this is very old. This is when they were in primary school. But, this is Tilly, who's now 13, 
This is Cassie. These are the twins and I know they are not alike. Cassie's taller than me now. She's got size seven feet. Crazy. Uh, Flory is... So these two are 11 now and Tilly's 13. This is when they were at primary school. Um, so as you can see, there's no ugly child in there. You know? But even if she fucking was, which she's not, I'm sure you're the world's most beautiful kid, dickhead. Jesus. Anyway, so she just said, well, what does it matter? And I said, exactly, what does it matter? What does it matter? You know, it doesn't matter if you've got one person in there and you're chatting to them and you're having a good chat and you, you know, or you've got 10 people in there or even 20 people in there. It really doesn't matter because it's all about, number one, what people are doing at the time so everyone can suddenly stop and, and get on your live video you don't know what people are doing i don't know just kids are so skewed i'm not saying every kid but a lot of kids um how about concentrating on being able to um read and write properly be able to speak properly how about concentrating on being a nice person, being a generous person, being a kind person, instead of judging other people, for fuck's sake. I just don't understand what's wrong with people today. I don't understand it. But just have, in fact, in fact, somebody mentioned it in my couple of videos ago, have a bit of respect, just have a bit of respect. Don't be such an arrogant fuck, in a nutshell. Have a bit of respect for your elders, for your, you know, form friends, your form mates, for the people of the same age as you. Generally, have a bit of respect. And don't be so damn judgmental, fuck's sake. It's all about showing off, and that's something else I've noticed. It's just showing off all the time. I've got this, I've got that, you've got this, I've got more than you, I've got more than you, I've got this and you haven't got it. And da 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 and da da Oh my God. Grow the fuck up. Seriously. Yeah. But anyway, rant over. I just wanted to share that with you because it irritated me. It's not going to end because Nat's done a video on it. No. But I wanted to vent. I wanted to vent on the real crew. And I want you to comment down below what you think about these little cretins. Kids. Generally, it's kids that think they are older than their years. Possibly. They think they're older than their years. And it's all about showing off. The kids of 2019, all about showing off and being arrogant so let's rein it in kids let's rein this arrogance in and just be yourself and if you are arrogant then maybe you need a personality transplant but generally just chill it's not all about showing off things showing off how many followers you've got how many people's in your live stream what you look like Blah, blah, blah. It's just... Ugh. It's just cringe. That's what it is. It's cringe. Cringe-worthy. So anyway, I just thought I'd get that out there. I thought I'd, you know, share that with you. It did It did annoy me, but thankfully it's all right. My niece is all right. She's fine. So I'm just trying to, to tell her to anybody who comes into her Instagram who is rude, who is this, that and the other... Just block them. Just block them. Quite simply, block. Um, and if I get any more arrogance or shittiness or anything else, I am now doing a no tolerance on anything. Anything. So anything that is just either a put down or it's either just an arrogant little snidey comment or it's just something I just don't even need to hear or see block because why put up with it let's face it 
and I advise you the same. Don't put up with any shit. You don't deserve it. The real crew are good people. You don't deserve it. Don't put up with any shit. And if you are thinking, listening to this and going, hmm, it does sound like a bit like me. Turn it around. You don't have to be an arrogant little shit. Just a bit of advice. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for putting up with my little rant. And if you watched it all the way through, props to you. And all about that. We'll see you on the next one. Keep it real, guys.